hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video it's a different type of video it's a cooking video um we're gonna attempt to cook something so i want to try this viral tiktok video like this meal is a stuffed potato with steak red peppers onions cheese i want to try that i was going to try the one that's like super stuffed with like shrimp steak cheese but i don't think shrimp and steak i don't think i don't think that goes together so in today's video we're going to attempt to make the stuffed potato so if you're interested and stay tuned over, over, name another bitch that's cold. Rover, Rover, I don't even drive no more. I gotta show took off. Took off. Slow up, took off. Getting wiser and my money getting older. Oh, and it's gonna hold. Alright, so I've got all the ingredients. I got my potato. I got my steak. Um, I'm gonna do spices, my chives. This is garlic powder, onion. Um, I bought some chives. I also got a whole bunch of cheeses and stuff, but first we are going to worry about the potatoes because that's the first step. So apparently, I got four potatoes. I got four. Four. Ew. I got four of these potatoes. And I don't really, okay, so I don't like stuffed potatoes, but my grandma made these potatoes one time and I was like, Grandma, you made that? Cause I ain't never had that before in my life. So we're gonna attempt. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna try to get y'all to see what I'm doing. Cause it's kind of hard. But I just cleaned my kitchen. We're gonna attempt to deal with these potatoes. Okay, so I'm gonna watch this video and then I'm gonna come back to you guys. Okay, so I watched a couple of the clips. First, we are going to wash all these potatoes. We're gonna wash all four of them because I want to make all four of them. So we're going to wash them and I'm going to get a pan to put them on. I'm going to put them on this pan. So I'm going to wash these potatoes real quick. And because they do stink. So I kind of figured we had to wash them. But I wanted to make sure because I don't cook y'all. But I'm trying. I'm trying. So I'm about to be back. I got to wash these. I got to wash them. So here's our pretty looking potatoes. Um, don't they look pretty, y'all? So I do have some foil. I don't know if y'all want to see the zoomed up part or the not zoomed up part. Maybe I should adjust y'all back up to where you guys were so y'all can see a little bit of everything. I do need some more paper towels. I got some in the back. Don't worry about me, baby. I got it. I got it. I got it. So um, I'm going to get my little foil. Oh, I got a lot of things in here. Maybe I should have kept y'all zooming in here. Okay, so I'm getting my aluminum foil. I'm gonna move my bag out of the way because it's dirty because it, it had the dirty um potatoes in there. So now I'm gonna lay each one in their own on their own foil because I'm about to put some oil on them. I'm about to put some oil on all of them. And I was told that it doesn't matter which type of oil you use. So I'm gonna put some oil on them. Just wanna make sure that so now I'm gonna get my I got Pure vegetable oil is Crisco. So, Crisco, this is what I'm going to use. 
So, and I'm gonna need a fork. So I'm gonna get take a fork out. Cause I'm gonna need to stab that motherfucker. Okay. So I'm gonna just pour it in this little cup and pour it in my hands slowly. So I'm gonna do like a dab in my hands. Don't let it fall down, and then I'm gonna just. Oh, that was easy. that was easier than I thought. So, so I'm just gonna cover it nicely. Not too much, not too little. Just a good, decent amount. Okay, that looks a little juicy to me, so I think this one's good. So we're gonna put this one down. I want it to sit like this. Then we're gonna move on to this bad boy right here. And whatever's left over on my hands, I'm just gonna rub it in and I'm gonna add a little bit more. Yes, that little bit more does a lot. And I'm just trying to figure out how I would want it to sit. Guess I'm gonna sit it like this. So I'm gonna sit it like that. Now this one, this one's probably one I'm gonna eat first. I don't know. This one or that one. The biggest one obviously because I'm a I'm a I'm a big girl at my food. So this one needs a good little, little amount of oil. Okay, I want this one to sit like this. Now this one, I didn't really know how to pick out potatoes either. I was I was just trying to y'all. I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, so my mom ain't never made no baked potato before. Okay, so that's how this one is, and we're gonna sit like this. So now they're all nicely greased up. I'm washing my hands because I don't like all this oil. So now I'm gonna get my fork and I was told to stab it 10 times anywhere. So just stab it anywhere 10 times. I guess I didn't have to wash my hands. So I'm just about to be stabbing them. Cause when you cook it, it's, they said it has to have somewhere to go. After you do that, then you can close it up. So I'm gonna just keep doing that, y'all. Dang. It's so slippery now. Everything is slippery. Well, I'm gonna preheat the hot oven. I'm gonna preheat it on 350. Okay. I know it seems a little violent, but. So now I'm gonna wait until it dings, telling me that it's ready. And then I'm gonna clean my area and we're going to start to make the steak. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. Um, I was told or I seen that it's best, let me put my hair back to put it in just like this. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna sit them on the middle one. I wanna evenly separate them. I don't want them to touch the wall. So I might have to separate them some more if I can find my, and I have spoons. So we're gonna get these and I'm just gonna move them. So 
there they go. And we're gonna let them sit for an hour. And I'll come back. Okay, so now we're gonna cut up uh, red pepper and some onions. Um, I didn't take my steak out to the frost last night. So therefore, the steak is defrosting. But we do got this damn onion that I do not want to cut, Lord knows. Oh, Lord knows, Lord knows. We're going to cut the entire red pepper, but we're probably only going to use half of the onion. It's because I don't see me using the whole dang thing of onion. I was about to throw that away. I think I'm going to keep it. I don't see why I would use a whole thing of onion. So, I'm going to get a big knife. I don't know if I want to use this one. Which one y'all think? Or this one. So I'm gonna peel, I'm gonna wash these off. I'm gonna peel the stickers off and then I'm gonna wash them. Well, I'm gonna wash this one. I don't think you wash no damn onion. But I'm gonna take the stick off. So. I'm gonna get the middle out. This is not really a tutorial. This is a big ass damn knife. We're gonna get the little one and we are going to cut the middle out. I know that much. That's the only about only damn thing I know. Dang. Okay. So now we're gonna use a big knife and we're just gonna cut it. How do you wanna cut it? Big, small, medium. I'm going to try to do a little small. And I'm going to cut it again because I don't want them to be big like this. I'm probably going to do it like I don't know how y'all cut them. I don't really don't care about how they look because they're going to be cooked. Okay, you hear me? So, it don't really bother me that they're all different sizes. It's still going to be good, okay? So, that's that. That onion. That damn onion. I don't do onion. I'm lying to you. I don't do this. I'm already starting to tear up. Maybe I should put on my, do I got my, hold on. Okay, so I'm putting on my, my goggles that I got from my old job because these onions, mm-mm. Face, now, nah, come on now. I got the goggles on, I'm sorry. The onions, I can't eat with the onions. It's for my old job, so. I got it ready. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cut this damn onion. I don't want to cut this onion. I don't. I really don't. I got to peel this damn thing. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm scared. Y'all, I hate onions. I mean, I like onions. I like to eat them. But I don't want I don't want them. I like to eat them. I like to eat onions, but I don't want to cut them. A little, little, little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. I can taste it. Oh. Oh. I can taste this damn thing, girl. Oh, if I didn't have these goggles on, my eyes would be dying. I can feel it in my toes. At this point, the shit is cut, okay? Okay, hold on. We still got, ooh, Lord. 
I can feel and smell the fumes. Trying not to get my goddamn face that tight. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. down below so the little meat the meat not done um the potatoes not done the potatoes still not done so skip I'm gonna use this one because then that's this is what we're gonna put all together in this pan right here so I'm put I'm put a little bit of oil in my pan And then we're just gonna slide them in there because I mean we gotta cook them for the meat because you know we got the meat oh oh okay well, spatula that I like them I got it on six, but we're gonna turn it down to three. Make it sizzle a little slower. I think I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch pots. So I gotta oil it up. Either way, they both need to be oiled. So whether one has oil, whether they both have oil, it doesn't matter. So, oil this one up, and we're gonna scoop that and put it in here. I should have thought of that. Cause the meat, I want the meat in this one. So, we're just gonna. And I like using these type of utensils with my pots because it don't scratch them. And because we ain't got time for that. Now we about to get our meats. I should take these off now. Okay. I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off. Steak is a little, it is a little thin. It is a the, the steak is a little thin now. I ain't gonna lie. But we about to do some chopping real quick. We're gonna we gotta make it into some pieces. Yeah, look. <laughs> But we got multiple. We got multiple in here, baby. We got multiple. So we just chopping it up so I can stick it in there. And you know, my eyes are starting to burn a little bit because of the residue from the onions, but it's okay. It's okay. I did. It's still in the air. Okay. We're gonna get our meat. Damn, we didn't season shit. We're gonna season it as we put all the mixtures together. Yo. <laughs> we ain't season not a goddamn thing. But listen, listen, I'm following the video. They ain't season nothing in the video. I ain't they don't they don't know that they black. They don't season it until they mix it all together. Like when I put the meats with the onions, then that's when they season it. And plus the potatoes gonna have the seasoning on it. Mm-hmm. Yup. But I'ma still throw some concoctions in there. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're not gonna put that too high either. We're cooking it on four. We're gonna cook it on four. Because I ain't got time to be hum yum yum yum. And it's pink. So we're gonna cook it on four. Yup. I 
I think we're gonna put about four steaks because we got four potatoes, so we're gonna put about four steaks in here. So we're gonna add one more steak in there and then I'm gonna put a little bit of seasonings because they didn't add no seasonings. So I'm gonna put a little bit of seasonings in here. I'm gonna tell you guys what I put in here. Um, but I'm not gonna put all my seasonings that I would usually put in the meat because most of the seasonings that I do put in my meat, they're gonna have it, I'm gonna have to put it in the potatoes. So you don't want it to be over seasoned, but you do want that thing to have some power, okay? And I'm adding cheese sauce. Yes, everything's cooking in. Ooh, I like it like that. She working that back. I don't know how to act. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Move it slow motion for me. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. Just, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm not a chef. God damn it, y'all, I can tell. I'm not a chef, all right? I just, Throw some stuff together, make it taste good, make it, make it, make it look good. Taste, mm, taste, I'd rather have taste than the looks. So I make sure that it tastes good. Don't look at, don't, don't look in here. Don't, it's, it's too packed, it's too much. Freezer won't close. Too, too much, okay. So. I'm gonna grab some of my, well, I'm gonna grab all of my seasonings. And I'm gonna pick the ones out that I'm gonna use for my little concoction. Okay, so we are gonna add a little bit of salt. And the only reason why I'm saying a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper is because I already gotta add the salt and the pepper to the potatoes. So we're only gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. That's probably why he didn't season his meat, but he was, I'm pretty sure I could season some meat. So we're gonna put a little bit of um just a little bit of pepper on it. God damn it, a little bit of a little bit of salt. If it come out, okay. A little bit of salt turn to um a kind of lot salt. We're gonna put a little bit of pepper, black pepper, just a little bit, just a little bit. Then we are going to put we already put in the garlic powder, the onions, onion powder, um the chives. I'm gonna put, I like paprika on my meats. I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm put a little bit of paprika on these meats. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that. I love parsley on the meats. I love parsley. So we're gonna, we definitely gonna put a good little bit of parsley. Y'all probably don't think you can taste it, but baby mama, I can taste it, okay? I can taste it, baby. I can taste it. So then we're gonna put a little bit of cayenne pepper. Just a little bit, not too much. You don't wanna, <coughs> you wanna, you wanna enjoy your food. Okay, my camera cut off. So we left off with the Old Bay seasoning. I'm gonna add some Old Bay seasoning. You know, if you're gonna season anything, you're gonna use some, not Old Bay seasoning, seasoned salt, my bad. Laurie's seasoned salt, not Old Bay seasoning. So I'm gonna put some seasoned salt up there. Not too much, cause you know, we're gonna add the salt and the other stuff to the, um, to the potatoes. So, it's a little dark. So we're adding just enough, and then we wanna mix. You wanna make sure you mixing with me. I don't want no pink nowhere. No pink, no blood. I'm gonna raise it back up, because I had to change my um, stuff on my camera, so I turned it down. So I'm about to raise it back up. And it's looking tight nice right now. Looking real juicy, real, real, real good, real delicious. Got me, my stomach growling. It is 9.44, you know, we gotta check on the potatoes at 10. The potatoes are supposed to come out at 10. So, the meats looks well seasoned. Don't forget your onions and your peppers is over here cooking too. They over here chilling. I got them on three. Don't want them to cook too fast cause you know, nothing's really done yet. But now I'm about to put the, um, put the pedal to the metal 
The last thing I'm gonna make is my cheese sauce. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Cheese sauce. Ooh, cheese sauce. I love me some cheese sauce. Y'all like some cheese sauce? Like I said, I'm not gonna add the chives or the onion. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder to my meat real quick. Just a little bit, because we already we already adding that to the potatoes. So I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder because I love garlic powder. I love the flavor of the garlic powder. So we're just gonna let it cook. I'm about to put the lids on both of these and let them, you know, do their thing, do their thing. I like that way you do that right there, right there. Excited, to, I'm, I'm excited to try, I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm excited to try these potatoes. in here. I need to get my mixing bowl for my potatoes. We're gonna mix it in this bowl. I'm gonna put some chives at the bottom. Cause the potatoes about ready. Look at my potatoes sitting pretty. They sitting pretty. They sitting pretty. Okay. I'm about to add the meats with the so the meat about done. So I'm about to add the meat with the onion because it's about that time. Yeah, so she looked bad. So I'm gonna add my meat. Now we about to mix this up real nice, real like look, look y'all. That look, that look real good right there. That look, that right there. Had my stomach full all motherfucking night, okay? Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna add my cheese and why a little spaghetti. I don't know if y'all, y'all, okay, for the next video, y'all let me know y'all like being up close or y'all like being far back where y'all can see everything. But I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna move you up, up close a little bit. So we're gonna put some mozzarella. Dang, couldn't say the word. We're gonna put. Hold on, guys, Justin. We're gonna put some mozzarella shredded cheese. Okay. Um, if you want to get the block cheese, get the block cheese. I'm too broke for the block cheese. Block cheese is expensive, so I'm gonna use this bag cheese. Okay. So, just cheese is cheese to me. I love it all. I love all types of cheese. I like cheap cheese. I like regular cheese. I like expensive cheese. I like cheese. So I'm not picky. So we're gonna put all that. This is the fine shredded, low moisture, part skim mozzarella cheese, and it's good. It's good. It is, and we're gonna put a lot of that in there. We show sure this. We show sure this. And I think I got another type of cheese in there, so we might try to put that. I didn't get cheddar cheese, and I probably should have got cheddar cheese, but I did not get any cheddar cheese. Um, I do have some left in here. So we're probably gonna throw a little bit of sharp cheddar in here. We're probably gonna use the rest of this little pack for when I make my little macaroni and cheese. I could do a video on that if y'all want me to. But we're probably gonna use the rest of this pack because it won't nothing. But yeah, that, that, that. That provolone cheese. But we're putting the provolone cheese at the bottom of the potato. So now we're gonna mix all this. Mix it. Mix it. You see that? No, no, because y'all can't see that. You see that? It's melting. It's getting real cheesy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And it ain't got to look like that. It ain't got to look like that. Oh, it ain't got to look like that. 
I'm excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control. And I think you like it. We're going to put it in the bag. Let it cool off. Put that up there like that. And we are going to start on our potatoes. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the potatoes out. And I'm going to stuff them evenly. So I'm going to take all the, scoop all the potato out. And this. Scoop them all out, put them, put them up here, and then take all the potatoes out, and you can't forget we got to cut them, so I'm going to get a new knife, and we got to cut them, because we got to cut them, we can't cut them in half, you got to cut them like more than half, like the bottom got to be bigger than the top, because that's how you're going to eat it, you're going to eat the bottom, you're not going to eat the top, so you just got to cut a little bit off the top. Use the potatoes from both sides and put all that one potato in that. And y'all see, I can't really explain it. I'm not really explaining it right. So y'all see, I'm just waiting on it to be time to take them out. I wanted to do the full hour. Okay, so now we're gonna take the potatoes out. So about to take these four potatoes out, and we're gonna do use my little method, okay? My little method. Hopefully, the little method works. I don't drop my damn potato. So now we gotta check them to make sure they're good, basically. Oh, that baby hot. It's still hard. It's still hard. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do another 20 minutes. We're going to do 20 more minutes. Since we're waiting on that, we can taste. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to taste the steak and see if it's how I like it. How hot that thing is. How cheesy that thing is. Mmm. <laughs> that shit good. I can smell them, so they should be done. We're gonna take them out. Okay, so about an hour and thirty, a uh, thirty hour and twenty minutes. It's good. So. We are gonna cut it in half, not in half. We're gonna cut it, I don't know how to say it. Not in half, we're gonna cut it like more to the top than the bottom. So, I'm gonna just sit in a certain way and we'll be like, oh, oh. Cut it like that. See, like that? We're gonna cut it like that. But make sure the skin stay on it because we need the skin part because we're gonna put it back in.
Jesus Christ. Y'all, my potatoes falling apart. Man, I am, cause I want it to look good. I might have to edit the fuck out of it. I don't like that. I don't like that right there. Y'all, I don't like this. I'm pissed, I have an attitude. Y'all, I have a ser and then my camera's dying. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> So I'm about to mash these potatoes because apparently apparent freakingly I'm mad. I'm so mad. I mean it's the same thing. Ain't got no skin. So I added some. I'm at so I'm stern with attitude. I added some onion, garlic powder, some maced onions, a little bit of paprika, and some chives and salt and a little bit of pepper. And I added um. A half a stick of butter because it's a lot of damn potatoes in this mouthful. So we're just mashing them, and I'm I have attitude because I wasn't I wasn't planning on doing this. I wasn't. And you want to taste as you go. So don't worry, we still gonna make our cheese sauce. The cheese sauce still gonna make it look pretty. So we're just gonna go with the flow. It was unexpected, but...
I thought it was recording. Um, we are going to make our cheese sauce, so I'm about to show y'all how to make it. I just got done stirring my mashed potatoes, so I'm just pulling y'all closest with my cheese sauce. This is what the mashed potatoes look like. Of course, I gotta mash them a little bit more, but I already told you guys what I put in them and stuff like that. I got my plate right here because I'm ready to make my plate look pretty. And right now, I'm letting the butter sizzle up. And then once we let the butter sizzle up, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour in it. So we gotta wait for it to sizzle up a little bit. And then we're gonna put like a pinch or two of powder of um, flour. <laughs> and then I got some whipping cream. We're gonna put some whipping cream in there as well. And then we're gonna start adding uh, a little bit of seasonings. We don't wanna add too much seasonings because think about it. We already got the seasoning in the chicken and we already got seasoning in the mashed potatoes. So you don't need that much seasoning in your cheese sauce because there's seasoning and everything else. So you need minimum seasoning in your cheese sauce because it's gonna be too salty. You're gonna have a heart attack, okay? You don't, we don't want that. So. I'm just gonna put a little bit, you're probably gonna be like, dang, you ain't put nothing in there, of course, because I put a lot of seasoning in the mashed potatoes because it was a lot of a lot of potatoes I wasn't planning on mashing. So, um, that's that. I put a little bit in the meat. That's that. So we're getting a little sizzle. So once we start getting a little sizzle, I'm gonna get a little flour, we'll be like, <laughs> we do like that, okay? So, you see the little bubbling? It's bubbling a little bit. I'm gonna just get a little pinch. I'm do I'm about I'm about to do about three pinches. Until all the flour dissolves. Now we're gonna get our whipping cream. It's heavy whipping cream. And put how many you want. I just eyeball it sometimes. I'm not a chef, but I'm gonna eyeball it. I want a good amount of cheese sauce. So we're gonna put a good amount of whipping cream. Oh, can't let it bubble too hard. So now I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna turn it, I turned it down back to three, four. Let it turn it down a little bit. A little sizzle, sizzle, drizzle, drizzle. So now I'm gonna put my paprika. I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika in there. Then we're gonna put a little bit of onions. A little bit of garlic powder. Salt and pepper. Cause you know, you don't want your cheese sauce tasting like nothing now. You do wanna add some flavor to it. You just don't want to add as much flavor as you would because everything else has to flavor. Um, I do add parsley and we're going to add Kanye pepper. I add a little bit of parsley. Kanye pepper. And of course you got to add your cheese. Hold on. I'm going to do a little mix mix. Look at that cheese sauce. It's just a little cheese sauce for now. And I'm about to add some cheese to it in a minute. I'm um, gonna get my mashed potatoes ready for my plate. I'm gonna just scoop it up. Okay. So I'm in my little scoop. <gasps> oh! My cheese. You cannot let your cheese burn. A little bit more cheese. I know. I fixed it, it was messed up, but I fixed it. 
if I added some more cheese and some more heavy cream because I was burning it, y'all. But I fixed it. See, look. I burnt it. Okay, so I'm about to put the cheese sauce up here. The cheese sauce is nice and thick. <laughs> like me? <laughs> Down so y'all can see. Y'all, this I don't know how they do this cooking stuff because they're hard. God dang. I gotta turn the camera each every way. Okay. So now we're gonna move this out of the way too. We're just gonna pour a little bit of cheese sauce on it. We'll make sure we mix it a little bit more. And we're gonna pour a little bit of cheese sauce on it. Now we're gonna put our meat on it. Hi, baby. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. That look good. I'm about to try it. Okay, guys, so I'm about to try it. To see exactly what it's. Ooh. Shit, I must fail. See exactly what it tastes like. Cheese, the meat, potatoes, all together. If I don't like it, I'm gonna tell the truth. My face will tell you Mmm. To be honest, the cheese is what brings it together and the meat. I'm not gonna lie, my mashed potatoes were missing something, but I couldn't find out what it was missing because I didn't wanna add too much seasoning. So I was like, it's missing something, it's missing something, it's, it feels like it's not seasoned, but I put a lot of seasoning in it. It's missing the meat, baby, and the cheese. I love mashed potatoes with cheese. Mmm. Mmm. I'm definitely about to put some more cheese on this more boy. Hold on. I'll put some more cheese on it. Get it sloppy. Real sloppy. Yeah. The cheese. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. No funny stuff. Tearing it up. About to add some more meat now. I'm full. Y'all. This. Mm-mm. Cause if it was nasty, no hesitation in throwing it away, but I'm not throwing it away, baby. I'm not throwing it away. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Oh y'all yeah, like a video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If y'all want me to try to cook something else, let me know. But I don't cook too often because I'm real busy with school and work. But I am trying to put out different channels. I'm a soap. But I am trying to put out different content for y'all. So y'all let me know. Mm. I need a spoon. Because I can't get all my potatoes. 
Mm. I need to drizzle some more cheese on it. Because the cheese, I always eat mashed potatoes with cheese. That's what it was missing. The cheese sauce. Mm-mm. It took me exactly, I started at eight, three to four hours to make. Um, oh, I'm full. It took me a little bit longer because I had to mash my potatoes instead of scooping, mashing, and scooping them back and putting them back. Um, and now what I would have done, I would have done everything, I'm sorry, I'm full. I would have done everything the same, but if I want if I would have restuffed my potatoes, I would have put provolone cheese at the bottom of the base of the potato, and then put the stuff in there, and then um, add all my stuff on it, including the cheese sauce, and I sprinkle a little bit more cheese on top, and stuck it back in the oven. But we didn't get there, and it's okay. It's okay because this is still good. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I put too much week, and I'm always week. I'm about to once a week, if not more than once a week. We're coming back to back to back to back to back with you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and the different content I'm trying to put out. Because I want y'all to stay tuned. I want y'all to stay excited, stay entertained like my content. So I'm trying to do different stuff, trying to cook different stuff, trying to try new things. Y'all let me know how I did in the comment section, what I could have done better, what I should have done, what I shouldn't have done. I'm okay to criticism. Just don't get too violent in the comments. Don't, don't get too I'm just playing but no I, I don't have no problem with no criticism nothing like that y'all just let me know and also let me know what y'all want to see next which I, what else do y'all want me to make try to make and put the recipes down in the comment section so I can look it up and try so y'all stay safe keep your mask on keep your hands washed I'll see you guys in my next video bye best friend